uh, based upon how your boys played tonight, it looks like it was a productive um, holiday vacation. It was. We ran a lot. <laughs> we did a lot, a lot of situational basketball, and I think it paid off today. And we were fresh, so we, uh, as coaches, I think we had a good game plan going in. It's how we're going to work them out day to day, and uh, you know, give them the proper rest as well. So they came out with energy, and a lot of effort, and hopefully this win after a long break will carry on to down in Port Angeles. Well, and, you know, as a player, how much does your past experience help to deal with these, you know, these long, long stretches of no games? It's difficult. But the good thing is uh, good family, good teammates, good coaching staff always makes a good difference, especially when you go into a situation of holidays, as long as they're happy and it's been fun. It seems like the kids have been responding with good attitudes and nobody's been griping about practice and how hard it is. So we're pretty happy as a coaching staff. Yeah, no, it was very um, – and, and actually it, 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 it showed tonight. So, I mean, obviously, you know, it'll how you. But uh, you guys seem – in both teams, both games, you, you controlled it from the opening – Opening tip. Yeah, that's our plan uh, going on forward. We just got to win that first quarter, you know, to calm, calm our nerves down. You know, it is being a 15, 18 year old kid, you know, you want to get out there, you're anxious. And when, when something goes wrong the first time, you kind of like shy away. But, you know, teach them how to come out there with the right attitude, come out there, just throwing the first punch, you know, not waiting for it to happen and uh, see what happens. That's all you can do. Personal question, I mean, has it been tough for you having played at the, the level that you played at to come back to high school and play with players that, you know, are, are beginning? It's always tough. I, if I play with the kids, I always tell them I'm only playing 30%. So they get, <laughs> yeah, and they don't, they, don't under, they don't really understand that, do they? No, no. But it's, uh, it's been humbling. You know, I came into it with very high expectations. That's because I was all looking myself in the mirror, not looking as a young man again, but the uh, last few years I've been looking at them as young men and they're still growing. And I, I treat them like sponges, you know, keep just drenching them with more and more knowledge and hopefully they can t- take some of that with them. Nope, and, and we'll see. Um, so, hey, thanks, Coach, and, and good win. We'll um, hopefully be talking to you tomorrow night. Thank you.